This video is going to show you all about opening up a new file and dragging over all of your images that you have already created into one project to also then alter uh, the text for, for your logo. So once you have your images open, like I have my Blueberry open here, I'm going to go to this top right corner and I'm going to minimize, not minimize, but scale down the window so that I can see the entire window right here. If I look over to my layers, I have multiple layers. I need to merge them all down. So if I right click the top layer and hit merge down, it will merge that into this layer here. Do not merge into the background. You want all of the layers merged into one like this. Then I'm going to go to File, New. This is just defaulted as a US paper size, eight and a half by 11 inches. That's fine, I'll just hit OK. So here is my new project. It's untitled right now. We're gonna fix that in a moment. To get my one blueberry that I created over to this blank palette, I'm going to grab the layer by left clicking and holding down that layer one and dragging it over. And of course it's not gonna let me Oh no, it did, okay. And I'm just gonna let go and it drops it into my new project. If you have multiple images, you should have three or more for your logo. You can do the same thing with the other two. Once everything is on the new project palette, if you think the size is too small, to fix that, you would go to Edit, Free Transform, and you get all of these lovely nodes that you can stretch. But if you stretch them, you get the proportions get all stretched out. So I'm going to control Alt Z to undo that. And of course it didn't. So I'm going to go edit, undo. Now this is a shortcut. If you hold the shift button down and you go to a corner, not a side, not a side, a corner, it will keep the proportion the correct, the correct proportions the entire time. So that's the trick. Hold the shift button down and then use the corner to grab. Once you like the size, if you click to the move tool, it will ask if you want to apply the transformation. And if you want to hit apply, that's yes, and now it is that big. So once you have changed all of the sizes for all of your images, you can then mess around with the text tool to add your company logo, and that will be the next video.